Oh hi, welcome back to my channel, Scale Model Kit Review. Up next, I continue to receive the collection from Diagostini Collectibles, and that collection is the American Cars Collection. This is a very unique collection, and it's a collection you won't find anywhere else. It's 143rd scale, and I'm enjoying every issue, every car that I receive. Now, there's a lot of cars here I never knew existed, and that's what, I, what makes this collection so fantastic. So, if you haven't done so already, head over to Diagostini Collectibles and subscribe to this collection today. While you're there, check out some of the other new collections they got going on. I think they have like a tank collection starting up, and I would love to start that one also. So, without further ado, let's get started. Welcome back to another American Cars by Diagostini Collectibles Adventure. This is pack 10, and in pack 10, I received cars number 35, 36, 37, and 38. So let's look at the magazine here real quick for the American Cars collection. These magazines are fantastic. Uh, 12 to 13 pages, semi-gloss pages, easy to read, great information here. A lot of research was done into each magazine, which represents each car. So in this case we have the Firebird 400 Coupe. Great articles here, great photography. And then they give us the uh, technical sheet for the Firebird 400 Coupe. And it's fantastic there. Moving on. Then they give us some articles here. The Pontiac Aztec, the Ugly Duckling. And very rarely do I see any more of those on the streets. And, of course, we're getting close to the Indianapolis 500. It's getting to be that season, and the origins of the 500 is highlighted here in the magazine. Wonderful. And lastly, they give us uh, U.S. News... 10 November 1969. Welcome to Sesame Street. Okay, so let me get the cars out and we will do a review of those cars. So the first car is the 1969 Pontiac Firebird 400 Coupe. The, the, the next car in pack 10 is the Oldsmobile Cutlass SW31 from 1970. And the next one is the Mercury Comet GT from 1971. And lastly, in pack 10, is the GMC Sprint from 1971. Let's go ahead and look at the first car, which is car 35. Car 35, the Pontiac Firebird 400 Coupe, and here it is. And you can see our background there. It looks like Grand Central Terminal of Times Square, New York City. This car, back in 1969, retail for $3,280. Let's give it a look. And beautiful finish here for the Firebird gloss black lots of chrome trim around the wheel wells the, I love the wheels on this the tampo graphics on the tires the vinyl top markings for the hood scoop wonderful nose for the Firebird fantastic 143rd scale car here dual exhaust Looks great. Black interior, windshield wiper blades, driver's mirror. There you go. Next car is car 35, the Oldsmobile Cutlass W31 from 1970.
And here's the next car, the Oldsmobile Cutlass W31 from 1970. And looks like we have background from California there. This car retailed in 1970 for $4,380. So this is the Oldsmobile Cutlass. I'll go ahead and open it up and we'll get a closer look. Bright yellow, black stripes, accents. Very cool. Nice graphics on their front quarters. Spoiler on the back. Very nice. Dual exhaust. Looks like a black interior. Very nice. And car 37 is the Mercury Comet GT from 1971. And here's that car. This time we're in bright red. And it looks like we have, uh, looks like Florida in the background. Very hard to tell. This car retailed for 2500 in 1971. We'll go ahead and take this out. and video does not do it justice it's a deep glossy red windshield wiper blades rear view mirrors on both sides hood scoop very cool very nice from above and from the back once again dual exhaust and, and that's how that looks. Okay, and let's go look at the last car in this pack. And the last car is car number 38, the GMC Sprint from 1971. Here it is, white with black stripes, silver wheels, background looks like the Nevada desert. This car retailed for 4480 back in 1971. So let's get a closer look. All right, so this is GMC's version of the El Camino. Here we go. Very nice. Has a vinyl top. Black striping, cal inducted hood, bow tie on the front. I like the silver wheels, accents in chrome. Very nice bed, painted bed, tailgate, chrome accent on the top, the bow tie in the middle, dual exhaust. Very cool. These GMCs are a rarity compared to the Chevy bow tie. But very nice there. Okay, so I will be right back and give you a wrap up. And that was pack 10 of the American Cars Collections from Diagostini Collectibles. Head over to Diagostini Collectibles and subscribe to this collection today. These are fantastic 1 43rd scale die cast cars and they will look fantastic in your collection. Pack 10 consisted of the Firebird 400 from Pontiac, the Mercury Comet GT from 1971, the Oldsmobile Cutlass from 1970, and lastly, the GMC Sprint from 1971. There you have it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Stay tuned for the next installment. Happy modeling and take care.